uh, this is uh, yesterday I have uh, uh, completed the big M method. So where uh, you are going to give uh, the biggest value to the M and thereby conclude the zeros or uh, negative variables of CJ minus ZJ. So to arrive at uh, the conclusion of uh, the CJ minus ZJ, uh, if you give the maximum value to M, because it is a maximization problem, and uh, so zeros and uh, negative values are uh, uh, identified and thereby the solution was found uh, ultimately. Now this is a two-phase method. It is a little bit critical compared to the other things. Unless you have the strong knowledge on the previous problems, it is very difficult to understand. So this is there are steps one, steps two, step three, four, five are there. I just read it out. You cannot understand. So only when you solve the particular problem, you can understand. Now comes to this phase one, step one. Ensure that all bi are non-negative. If some of them are negative, make them non-negative by multiplying both sides by minus one. So sometimes the constraints are uh, greater than given and uh, if the values on the right side are negative, uh, then you make it uh, multiplied. If some of them are negative, then uh, uh, you have to multiply with the minus one, make them positive, and like that you can express the constraint in the standard form. So in the standard form means adding slack variables, surplus variables, and artificial variables, and uh, so therefore convert the, the entire uh, constraints into standard form. And uh, step three, add non-negative artificial variables. So artificial variables, if there is a greater than or equal to, then definitely you are going to uh, encounter artificial variable. For that, uh, artificial variable has to be added. If it is less than or equal to, automatically plus S1, plus S2, like that you are going to carry out the particular things. So whereas uh, if it is a greater than or equal to, then artificial automatically minus uh, surplus variable minus plus S3 plus A1 like that, you have to formulate a new objective function with constraints of the sum of the artificial variables. This function is called infeasible function. So after adding S1, S2, uh, all these things, the objective function has to be defined. Using the simplex method, minimize the new objective function such that the constraints of the original problem and obtain the optimum basic feasible solution. So simplex method with the, by adopting the simplex method, so you have to go for this thing. Three cases may arise. So three cases may arise means minimum z, minimum of z star, and at least one artificial variable appears in the column variable at a positive level. In such a case, no feasible solution exists for the LPP and procedure is terminated. So yesterday, in the last class, I told you uh, there is a problem. There is a particular problem here you can find out. So this is, uh, you have witnessed artificial variable A1 value is equal to four. So A1 should not appear in this particular thing. Either S1s, uh, slack variables or S2, uh, the surplus variables, they can exist, but artificial variable cannot exist. And if artificial variable exists, the problem ceases out. Now, here, what he has mentioned is, so, uh, no feasible solution exists for the LPP. If uh, artificial variable uh, appears, uh, next minimum W is equal to zero and at least one artificial variable appears in the column variable at zero level. In such a case, optimum basic feasible solution to the infeasibility for may or may not be basic feasible solution the given original LPP. You to obtain the basic feasible solution, continue phase one and try to drive all artificial variables out then continue phase two. So you have to proceed, uh, proceed with the particular problem and try to drive out artificial variables. So by adopting the certain conditions. 
So this is a minimum so W is equal to zero in sub that he has marked as W. No artificial variable appears in the column variable. In such a case, a basic feasible solution to the original LPP has been found. Proceed to phase two. So this is a general one. Phase two, in the first two, what you are going to do, use the optimum basic feasible solution of phase one as a starting car solution uh, for the original LPP. And uh, using simplex method, make iteration till an optimum basic feasible solution for it is obtained. Note, so the new objective function is always of minimization type, uh, regardless of whether the given original LPP is maximum or minimum type. So the new objective function in phase two is always a minimization type, regardless of whether the original given original LPP is maximum or minimum. So this is a new condition. Now comes to this example here, maximum of the maximum 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 subject to 5x1, 4x3 less than or equal to 7. And 4x1 minus 4x1, 7x2 plus 5x3 greater than or equal to minus 2. Here greater than is appearing, minus is appearing. You multiply to minus 1, automatically it becomes uh, uh, plus 2 and less than or equal to, it is greater than. So, for the first condition, it is uh, less than or equal to means plus S1. So, this will also become less than or equal to plus S2, whereas this is greater than. Well, only thing is that you have to minus S3 plus A1. Minus S3 plus A1. Minus S3 means it is a surplus variable. When minus appears, automatically surplus variable. Greater than appears, it is going to be called as a surplus variable plus artificial variable. So surplus variable means minus S3 and artificial variable means plus A1. So M does not, big M method in the M it will come, whereas M does not appear in this particular case. So that is the difference between the big M method and this small, this two-phase method. Here it has given simply just to understand. Uh, since for the second constraint minus two, multiply by minus one, less than or equal to, uh, introducing slack variables. So uh, plus S1, plus S2 is not plus S3, sorry, nine, minus S3 plus A1, it has to be appear. Minus S3 plus A1. And uh, step three has given X1, X2, three is equal to zero. He has solved it like that. So S1 is equal to minus seven. S2 is equal to also, um, Sorry, S1 is equal to 7, all these things. Whereas S3 is equal to, he has given minus 29 by 7, initial basic feasible solution. So it is not feasible solution as S1 is negative. So he has written something else. You need not bother about all these things. Don't bother about this step 3. Now you come to this, plus S1 is equal to 7, plus 2 is equal to 2, and minus S3 plus A1. Minus S3 plus A1 is equal to 29 by 7 because if it is because it is greater than or equal to minus S3 plus A1, uh, this is 29 by 7. Now, this uh, so this is uh, CJ values, CJ values because uh, he has not copied uh, this particular thing 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, he has not mentioned. And he has assumed x1, x3 is zero. So hence he has marked everything zero. Only for artificial variables, there is one is there. Because it is, so this is judge. Next, CB values, variables, S1, S2, last row, A1. The solution 7, 2, 29 by 7. And 5, 7, 4, 5, 7, 4, 1. 5, 7, 4, 1. So last is seven. So next comes to four minus seven minus five and uh, automatically two. Three, four minus six. Three, four minus six automatically it is coming as 29 by seven. So like this uh, we have formulated and this is minus S3 plus A1. Minus S3 plus A1 and uh, 
like this we have formulated the particular thing s1 is 0 s2 is 0 so in this case peculiarity is that this objective function 3x1 2x2 2x3 is there so for that uh, we are mentioning uh, uh, yes 0 s1 0 s2 0 s3 and finally a1 like that but uh, contrary to that previous case contrary to the previous case here we have putting x1 x2 0 so therefore that all zeros are mentioned here except artificial variable now uh, this is z j this is not c j this is z j so z j means 0 into this thing 0 0 into 4 0 1 into 3 automatically 3 you are getting so 0 into 7 0 into minus 7 and 1 into 4 so you are going to get 4 and zeros zeros so this is 1 into minus 6 and 1 into 0 0 1 into minus 1 plus 1 sorry 1 into minus 1 it becomes minus 1 1 into 1 it becomes 1 again so among all the values because this is a maximization problem so it is a maximization problem maximum z is equal to this thing has given so because it is a maximization problem here this is uh, 3 4 minus 6 all those things among all the things maximum positive value 4 is the maximum positive value so therefore this is the entering column therefore this is the entering column and uh, the entering column these are the elements the elements 7 by 7 it is 1 2 by minus 7 it is minus 1 should not consider minus ratios so 29 by 7 divided by 3 so it is 29 by so this is 29 by 21 i think sorry 29 by 4 29 by 7 divided by 4 so it is 29 by 28 so 29 by 28 means one point something else this is one ratio automatically one is the least ratio among other three ratios so this is the maximum positive value for and uh, you mark an arrow here so this is the uh, elements in the entering column all these elements so you have to divide this uh, uh, values 7 by 7 it is 1 2 by minus 7 ratio does not exist 29 by 7 by 4 so 29 by 28 finally 1 is the least ratio you mark a oriental arrow here so this is a entering row this is entering row this is entering column so automatically uh, automatically you will find out this particular uh, element key element so this should be made 1 0 0 remaining elements this is 0 this should be 0 like this so to make this one divide the entire thing so therefore x2 is there and x2 will come and occupy s1 and 0 will remain as usual so therefore in the next iteration you will find out 0 x2 so this is x2 x2 is coming here 0 is as usual and uh, if you divide by 7 so 7 by 7 1 5 by 7 and 1 here 7 by 7 1 5 by 7 7 by 7 1 4 by 7 and uh, 1 by 7 0 by 7 0 by 7 0 by 7 so like this you are getting so like this the first row has been obtained whereas s2 and a1 they will remain as usual s2 and uh, uh, a1 they will remain as usual but you have to convert them into the new row 2 and new row 3 so here you mark this as this is new row 1 new row 1 is equal to old row 1 divided by 7 new row 1 is equal to old row 1 divided by 7 and automatically you are getting like this new row 2 is equal to new row 2 is equal to old row 2 old row 2 plus 7 into here there is minus 7 is there to make this 0 plus 7 into this new row 1 plus 7 into new row 1 old row 2 plus 7 into new row 2 automatically you will get the new row 2 so next comes to and uh, new row 3 new row 3 is equal to uh, new row 3 is equal to old row 3 this is old row 3 old row 3 old row 3 minus 4 into minus 4 into 
minus 4 into nu rho 1 minus 4 into nu rho 1 there is a 4 is there to make this 0 uh, with respect to nu rho 1 so minus 4 into nu rho 1 out of minus 4 plus 4 automatically this becomes 0 so like that this nu rho 3 is equal to old rho 3 old rho 3 minus 4 into this nu rho 1 this nu rho 1 uh, so with respect to this nu rho 1 you have to iterate and after iterating you are getting the values like this so in the succeeding case, so in the succeeding case, uh, you got So next comes to uh, you understand now so you have to calculate uh, ZJ. So this is ZJ. ZJ means uh, 0 into all these things 0 this is only 1. 1 into 1 by 7 1 by 7. 1 into 0 0. 1 into minus 58 by 7 minus 58 by 7. 1 into minus 4 by 7 minus 4 by 7. 1 into minus 1 minus 1 1 into 1. So like this you are getting. CJ minus ZJ means 0 minus 1 by 7, it is minus 1 by 7. 0 minus 0. 0 minus 58 by 7 minus half, it becomes plus 58 by 7. 0 minus half minus 4 by 7, it is becoming plus 4 by 7. And uh, 0, all these things. 0 minus half minus 1 plus 1. And uh, so that is uh, 1 minus 1, artificial variable 1 on the gravity. Now 1 minus 1, it is becoming 0. So now if you go to this particular problem, you try to understand carefully. This is a very critical situation. Cj minus Zj. This is a minus here, you know, zeros. And 58 by 7, 4 by 7, 1, everything is there. So what is the uh, maximum positive value? What is the maximum positive value in this particular case? 58 by 7 or 4 by 7 or 1? So 58 by 7 is the maximum positive value. Automatically, this becomes the entering column. This becomes the entering column. These are the elements. So these are the elements means automatically you have to decide the uh, ratio. So, so how this is? This is minus 1 by 7. So somebody is talking. Huh? Zero minus one by seven, minus one by seven, fifty-eight by seven, four by seven, all these things. So in the next phase, uh, you have to identify minus one by seven, fifty-eight by seven, four by seven, zero one zero. So here uh, you are getting this as this as the entering column. This as entering column means minus value has given plus plus. So uh, irrespective of this particular thing, uh, the least value has considered here. So least value means minus one by seven is the entering column, and entering column means these are the elements one divided by five by seven. It is coming as seven by five. Again nine by nine is one. And one by one, all these things is one. So uh, he has considered uh, the negative value in this particular phase two, sorry, phase one. So I, I, one minute. The positive value is okay. First it is negative has taken, sir. Huh? Maximum negative this one, sir. First it is no order. First iteration law? Maximum negative value is called CJ minus JJ. Maximum negative value, how much? Minus 4 is called to sir. CJ minus JJ is equal to CJ minus JJ. CJ minus JJ. Sorry. Minus 4 is called. Minus negative value. Maximum negative value. Maximum negative value. Maximum negative value. Here also maximum negative value. Maximum negative value, sir. Phase 2. So maximum negative value, if you uh, take this particular case, 
automatically uh, maximum negative value sorry i could not un, uh, identify so this is uh, the minus 4 means uh, i am uh, uh, um, cj minus that because it is in some other page uh, minus uh, minus maximum uh, maximum negative value and this is the entering column so 1 divided by 5 7 all these things ratios are coming so among these uh, things there are two ratios 1 and 1 so uh, you can consider uh, uh, here he has considered this one only this ratio why means to avoid this uh, to eliminate the artificial variable he has considered instead of adopting this particular one so therefore this becomes the key element this becomes the key element and uh, he had made it one and automatically this zero zero and uh, so therefore when you are considering this particular uh, this thing what is this a1 will go out and x1 will come and occupy a1 will go out and x1 will come and occupy x1 will come and occupy automatically so a1 has gone out uh, that is a vector in this particular case so this is 1, it means multiply by 7, 7 into 1 by 7, 1, 7 into 1 by 7, 1, so 7 into 0, so 7 into 58 by 7, it is only minus 58, 7 into all these things. And uh, like that, uh, you are getting the third column, third row, minus 4, 0, minus uh, 7, minus, uh, this is 7 into minus 1 minus 7, 7 into 1, this is plus 7. Uh, so like this, uh, uh, he has come to an understanding, come to this particular row, sorry, row 3, new row 3, this is, and you have to go for new row 1 and new row 2. So for new row 1, for new row 1 is equal to old row 1, old row 1 means this is with respect to this, old row 1, Old row one, old row one, uh, minus five by seven. Old row one, minus five by seven into this new row three. So with respect to this new row three, you have to contact. So because uh, it is uh, five by seven is there, is the one is there. If you multiply by minus five by seven automatically, uh, this becomes zero. Remaining iteration will come like this. Next new row two is equal to new row 2 is equal to old row, sorry, new row 2 is equal to here, you have to write down, new row 2 is equal to old row 2, old row 2 means this is, old row 2 minus 9 into this new row 3, minus 9 into new row 3, automatically this becomes 0. So like that, if you carry out the iterations, it will come like this, and uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, are there. Now, because x1 0, s2 0, x2 0, all these things. Therefore, judge is equal to, you will get all zeros. 0 into this thing, 0 into this thing, 0 into this thing. So like this, uh, you are getting zeros. And judge, cj minus judge, because uh, everything is 0, automatically you are getting cj minus judge zeros. Only artificial variable 1 is coming here. And therefore, since all cj minus judge, are greater than or equal to zero, objective function is zero, no artificial variables appears in the column variable, uh, the table yields the basic feasible solution to the original problem. Original problem is therefore x1 is equal to one and x2 is equal to two by seven and whereas x3 is equal to zero. x1 is equal to one, x2 is equal to two by seven, all these things. So therefore next comes to phase two, Original objective function is maximization, 3x1, 2x2, 3x3, 0x1, all these things. So this is uh, the original objective function. Now, but uh, we have assumed this x1, x2, x0, and you repeat the particular things, and uh, repeat the problem about this particular thing, x2, all these things. So here x1 is there. Uh, here also it is uh, uh, x1. This is not x3, this is x1. So for x1, 
the value is nothing but three. Hence, he has put uh, in the phase two three value here, and uh, repeat the variables. So repeat this uh, original uh, this zero one two by seven zero one as usual two by seven zero one. And zero zero one one zero zero, and this is forty two two ninety four by seven. It becomes forty two. Uh, next comes to and five twenty one minus fifty eight three thirty seven four zero one zero five sixty three minus seven. Whereas the last column, last column is nothing but reflecting the artificial variables. So this he has avoided because he has eliminated the artificial variable column and now the column cannot be repeated in this particular area x1 x2 x3 s1 s2 s3 like this he has marked so he has repeated the entire table was repeated here so this is uh, x1 this is also x1 but uh, uh, in the original problem the uh, variable is uh, this the multiplication factor is nothing but 3 and he has uh, marked 3 here 3 x1 and uh, remaining thing is everything is as usual so therefore he has calculated zj he has calculated zj so zero zero solve these things at uh, zeros so 3 into 1 it is 3 and uh, this is 3 into 0 it is nothing but 0 but uh, yes mark it to how to So this is three into minus fifty-eight. Uh, so again, now uh, for x two value, he might have marked a two something like that. For x two, he has marked two, two zero three. Here, x two value is two. Ekra two has to mark two has to be marked. So for two into one, it becomes two. Three into zero, zero. So like that, this is two. That is not. Zero. So for x two, the multiplication factor is two, and x three, the multiplication factor is three. So therefore, two zero three are the correct. Here he has marked two zero three. So two into zero, zero into zero, three into one. So like that, you got three here. Two into one, it is two. Two into forty two, two into forty two. So it becomes eighty four. 84 minus 3 into 58. So 3 into minus 58 automatically it becomes minus 90. So 2 into 3, 6, and uh, 3 into minus 4, minus 12. 6 minus 12, minus 6. 2 into 0, 0 into 1, 3 into 0 automatically 0. This 2 into this is 2. 2 into 5, 10. Uh, minus Three uh, into seven, so twenty-one minus ten uh, automatically it becomes minus eleven. So three into minus seven means minus twenty-one. Two into five means ten. Uh, finally, it yields minus eleven. Now this is uh, C J minus J J. C J minus J J. C J minus J J. Uh, again, uh, there is a big mistake in this particular thing. Here he has to mark three two three, three two three. He has marked zeros through three two three. So three minus three zero, two minus two zero, and two minus ninety. So two minus minus half ninety. It becomes plus ninety two. Here two two is there. It is two is there. Two minus half minus ninety. It is ninety two plus ninety two and zero minus of minus six plus six zero minus zero and zero minus of minus eleven plus eleven. So it is zero zero zero. Got to three two three three two three and this is the x two value is nothing but two and like that. C J minus J J you are getting like this. C J minus J J means again he has gone for this uh, maximum positive value in this case particular thing. 
therefore this is the entering column these are the elements so these are the elements 2 by divided by 7 divided by 42 so 1 by 147 0 means 0 ratio and 1 minus by 55 it is minus ratio it is the only ratio and uh, 1 by this is thing so therefore this becomes so this is zero how you are going to consider this 521 so 1 by 147 is the minimum ratio so this should be considered as key element maximum positive value this should be but he has considered uh, so 0 divided by 521 so this is uh, something wrong in this particular case so this is uh, the key element this has to be 1 with the 0 0 he has to mark it so this is so already y means uh, he has got a unit matrix here 100 one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, like this so therefore 0 1 0 that is the uh, matrix has to be obtained so for that particular purpose yes 521 might have been made uh, uh, this particular thing even though it is not entitled for so 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 so to make this uh, unit matrix 521 you might, might have considered ignoring the basic principles so like that uh, uh, you know this particular thing and when you consider this x3 will come and replace out this so x3 will come and occupy x3 has come so x3 multiplication is 2 and uh, like this after uh, obtaining the unit matrix you are going to get cj 2 into this thing so 3 3 into 1 2 into 1 2 into 1 like the 3 to 2 2s so remaining things you are getting like this so therefore uh, you are getting here there is a 3, 2, 2, 3 minus 3, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, and all these things are 0 minus of this thing, minus 278 by 521, 0 minus of 92 by 51, uh, so therefore minus 92, 0 minus of uh, 65. This is all these things are negatives and zeros. So negatives and zeros, you can stop at this particular point. So you can stop at this particular, x1 is equal to 1, he has marked here x2 is equal to 0 sorry x2 is equal to x2 is equal to 2 by 7 and x3 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 by 7 x3 is equal to 0 so this is uh, uh, in the objective function you substitute the values you substitute all the values uh, this x1 x2 all these things automatically you will get the value of this that like this so this is the way uh, one has to um, this uh, carry out this particular uh, problem. So here only problem is only confusion is nothing but this 521. So because he got this 0 by 521 one should not consider but you have to get the uh, uh, there is x1 x2 x3. If unit matrix is obtained if unit matrix is obtained automatically one can stop uh, the solution one can stop the iterations and thereby it indicates that this solution is obtained for that he by he marked it as 521 as the one and as therefore divided by 521 means one like this sense like this one zero and this is he made zero and this is zero zero one zero one zero one double zero unit matrix finally the solution is automatically easily arrived so if it is not like if it is done uh, as per the rule one zero zero so you will not obtain the particular solution so this is uh, there is another problem minimum z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 subject to the constraint x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 0 minus 2x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to minus 6 so multiply this particular minus 1 automatically it becomes less than 1 so plus s1 plus s2 like that you can carry out so the RHS of the second constraint that is a negative. So multiply both sides by minus 1. We get 2x1 minus 3x2 less than or equal to 6. So as variable x1, x2 are unrestricted, we express them as x1 is equal to y1 minus y2. 
x2 is equal to y3 minus y4. So whereas uh, y greater than uh, y is equal to y i is equal to greater than or equal to zero, that is one, two, three, four, like this. Thus, the given problem is transformed into again minimization z. So minimization, it is minimization z instead of x1, he has marked a y1 minus y2, y3 minus y4, x2. So e so 2y1 minus 2y2, 3y3 minus 3y4, uh, subject to the y1 minus z. These are the constraints. He has converted the x1, x2s into y1, y2, introducing slack variable 0, s1, s2, and plus s1, plus s2, less than or equal to uh, these things where variables are greater than or equal to zero, subject to the constraints. Again, this is plus s1 is equal to zero, plus s2, zero, not zero, plus s1, plus s2 is equal to six, is equal to this thing that he has to mark. So instead of x1 and x2, y1 minus y2 are introduced, so y3 minus y4 are introduced, that's all. So now comes to this, uh, y1, y2, y3, y4, s1, s2, y1, y2. So for y1, y2, the objective function, 2y1 minus y2, 2, 2, he has marked, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 3, 0, 0. So like this, these entire, these are the constraints. So 1 minus 1 minus 2, and plus 2 plus s1, so this entire thing. The, all the multiplication factors are entered in this particular thing. So 0, 6 is there, S1 and S2, 0, all these things. So this is ZJ. So ZJ means 0 into 0 thing, everything you got zeros. And ZJ is nothing but 2 minus 0, CJ minus ZJ. This is CJ, this is ZJ. Uh, 2 minus 0 means all these things that you are getting. So among all the things, uh, again, the maximum negative value as considered, and a maximum negative value means automatically uh, against that particular thing, maximum negative value, this is two and three are there. So two and three means zero by two, zero, six by three, two. Again, the ratio is zero here. Again, for that uh, uh, two is considered one, zero. So one, zero has marked, made it. And finally you got like this. So one, zero means so this is uh, the coefficient is y4, minus 3 is there. y4 and minus 3 will enter. And y4 minus 3 will enter. And this all these things will go out. And 0 s2 will be as usual. And to make this as 1, to make this as 1 divided by 2. So 0, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 2 by 2, and uh, 2 by 2, 1 is 1, like this is coming. With respect to this new R1, you have to deduce the new R2. New R2 is equal to, new R2 is equal to uh, old R2. Old R2 means this is old R2. Old R2 minus 3 into, because there 3 is there, this should be made 0. So because plus 3 is there, minus 3 into this one, minus 3 into new R1, automatically it becomes this particular thing. Next, after that, you have to calculate uh, ZJ, uh, if you calculate ZJ, this minus 3 into all these uh, variables. So 0 to so minus 3 uh, plus 3 by 2, minus 3 into 1 by two, minus 1 by 2, 3 by 2, minus 3 into minus 1, 3, minus 3 into 1, minus 3, like this. So CJ minus ZJ, CJ minus ZJ, so here CJ minus ZJ means there is 2, 2, all these things are there. So if you calculate CJ minus ZJ is equal to 3 by 2, minus 7 by 2, 0 to all those things. All the ratios are negative that the value of the incoming non-basic variables uh, y2 can be made as large as possible without violating the constraint. This problem has unbounded solution and the iteration stops here. So and the iteration stops here. So all the ratios are negative uh, implies that the value of the income so this is a positive value there. Negative, negative, all these things. Incoming value y2 can be made as large as y2 can be made. This is the maximum negative value, I think. Violating the constraint. This problem has unbounded solution and the iteration stops here. Not uh, 
if the minimum ratio is equal to for two or more rows arbitrary selection of one of these variables may result in one or more variable becoming zero in the next iteration and the problem is said to generate the problem is said to be degenerate so uh, because of this uh, uh, this thing uh, if the minimum ratio is equal to for two or more rows arbitrary selection of one of these variables may result in one or more variables becoming zero in the next iteration and the problem is said to be degenerate generate solution degenerate solution if the problem is successfully solved we can call it as a generate solution if the solver is successfully not solved then we are going to call it a degenerate solution these these difficulties may be overcome by applying the following simple procedure called perturb perturbation method one is divide each element in the tight rows by the positive quotient of the key columns in that row key columns in that row means in the above problem the key column elements so this is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is there divide each element in the tight rows by the positive quotient of the key column in that row so compare the resulting ratios column by column first in the first in the identity and then in the body are from the left to the right the row which first contains the smallest albeit ratio contains the outgoing variables so this uh, uh, when uh, problem comes then only uh, you can solve the particular uh, you can understand the particular case so with uh, some more problems of this particular cases where we can apply we can uh, understand uh, the problem better rather than in a theoretical one so if you solve this particular case you can understand next so this is uh, so this is the chapter comes to a close um, so with this uh, now if you come across this particular thing there are so many other problems are there i request all of you there is a particular uh, textbook st sharma is there uh, operation research by st sharma that is very important book you go through that particular book or else uh, there are so many videos are available in the uh, net that uh, if you search for the videos on this particular lpp problems uh, so many problems number of people are there they will explain and tell you how uh, the problems can be solved next uh, similarly uh, there is another book panir selvam panir selvam is a very very uh, uh, good book through which you can uh, understand the particular problem to which you can understand the particular problem very well so tomorrow uh, i am going to start uh, the next unit to next unit to and uh, i am going to release this particular by with the possible corrections of this particular chapter so all these things i will uh, submit uh, i will send it through whatsapp or mail uh, the present unit uh, entire uh, content okay so with this uh, i'm winding up uh, this particular chapter that is unit 1 i hope that you have understood uh, if you to have a better understanding better go through this uh, pani selva and uh, sd sharma operation research by sd sharma and pani selva those books are very good so if the books are not available to you uh, try to get the pdf copies of the books or if pdf copies are not available try to go for videos on the this type of lpp problems therefore you can better unless you work hard to understand the problems very much and therefore if you unless you work hard uh, on a paper all these problems it is very difficult to understand okay thank you uh, we'll meet tomorrow i'm uh,